to N Plus One Channel, and today we're going to be playing 3D Dot Game Heroes. Now, this is a game I've always meant to play a little seriously, actually. Released here, I think, in uh, 2010. This is made by From Software. Now, From Software has made some really amazing games, actually. Um, of course, some of the most popular games that they made now are uh, the Souls series, right? So they made Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2. Uh, but they also made some pretty amazing games in the past. Um, of course, they made the... Uh, now I can't think of the name of it. I want to call it King's Quest. That's absolutely wrong. Uh, I'll remember it later, but uh, in a way, it's almost like the precursors to the Souls series. I mean, there's some drastic differences, especially when it comes to gameplay. But they made Chrome Hounds on the 360 and, and really did a lot of really cool stuff. So I'm excited to show this to you. Now... You might be noticing, hey, this looks a lot like The Legend of Zelda, and that's because it's very heavily inspired by it. But you'll notice that we have a big giant sword, which is kind of a ridiculous weapon. Well, this game's kind of ridiculous in general. For a while, I didn't think it was coming to America, so I went ahead and I imported a Japanese copy. I played a while through it, but the language barrier was a little rough. Um, you know, when it comes to Japanese, I can only speak and read... <laughs> Maybe at about a uh, kindergarten level. I think that I was up to, uh, I think they call it a JLPT1 level. Um, so, memorize a little bit over 200 kanji, but it doesn't, you know, none of this really matters. Um, so, we're playing it in English, and I really hope you enjoy. So, I'm going to press start. Alright, we're going to go to the Kingdom of Dotney, I think is what the name was. Alright, we're going to go New Game. Let's install do install game data, or we can just do new game. All right, so who do I want to pick? I was reading a little uh, thing when I uh, put it in that apparently they updated it, so there's like a sack boy model somewhere, maybe. Oh, there's a tank. That's kind of cool. What do we want to play as? Right, we could be something like ridiculous. We could be something fun. A dog, skeleton. Uh, we got Raiko. Raiko, why does that seem familiar? Oh, oh my god, yes. So, that's from, um, they were on the Xbox. Otogi. And I actually have Otogi and Otogi 2, and those are really amazing kind of action games. And another really good example of From Software. Um, and actually From Software had like a really cool kind of almost Ninja Gaiden-esque game on, uh, on the, uh, 360. Wish I could remember the name of it, though. See who else we have? King, Witch, Galleon, Robo King. How's he? Ro oh, he's got a little wind-up thing in the back. That's kind of cool. We have Vampire, Wolfman, Geisha. That's cool. Hmm. Dragoon. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wild Man. That's interesting. We can make our own, but um, I'd rather just <laughs> be an arcade machine. Or like some kind of a smiley thing. Um, I can be a blue screen of death. That's oh, that's fantastic. I'm loving that. I don't even know what that is. It's a bunch of plus signs. Brawl. Life is a constant struggle. Live your way out. Okay. Bun blade. Uh, cosplayer. Evil Manta. Okay. Duckman. Oh, this is cool. There's like so many choices. I don't know what I want to be. I feel like I want to be something ridiculous. Like a joystick. Oh my god, that would be cool. <laughs> I could be a mimic. Those things are a pain in the button games. A mech. Uh, I feel like I could just go through the red eye. The list of, of things here. Taco man. Taco man. Oh my gosh. I I feel like I'm ridiculously excited. Tungy. There's Sackboy. That actually looks kind of good. All right, so what did we like the most, though? What did I like the most? I can't ask you. I feel like Taco Man's really tempting to be. Um, that's kind of cool. A Manon. He's like a man, half man, half tank, all Manon. Oh, I love it. I love it. Where? You know what? No. I'm gonna be the blue screen of death. I'm just so down to be the blue screen of death. Yeah, that's fine. It's totally fine. This doesn't have to be, yeah, uh, we're, we're gonna call this, uh, hold on, how do I, all right, how do I, I can go back, but how do I like delete? 
next. Oh, well, maybe if I just go all the way back. We'll call him, uh... Uh, wait, no, no. Yeah. Alright, he will be... He'll be Wandu's. Like, like, win Wandu's. And then, uh, where are my numbers? Do I have numbers? Yeah, I do. Wait, wait, wait. How do I do the thing? Uh, aha! He'll be, uh, Wandu's 98. Yeah! Alright, great. Fantastic. And, heck yeah! So really, I, I, I probably never got more blue screens than I did on, uh, oh, whoop. In the distant past, a small land called Dotnia Kingdom disappeared. This piece was, oh wait, maybe that's not, it didn't say disappeared. This piece was upheld by the six magical orbs and their six guardian sages. But the Dark King coveted power. He captured the sages and hid the orbs. Evil monsters besieged the kingdom. But just when hope was lost, a young man with a sacred sword arrived to rescue the six sages. Okay. Each sage empowered the youth with their orbs, and the light orb was formed. So, they, like, these are like the princesses of light or something. In the fierce battle that followed, when the youth pierced the Dark King, the light orb shined, trapping him inside a pulsing dark orb. Was it pulsing before or after? The young, the youth, was hailed as a hero, and the tales of his bravery spread. The kingdom prospered, and the story brought visitors from afar. Hey, look, we're all pixels. That's cool. But the tale of the brave hero faded into myth. As the kingdom lost its charm, the visitors from other lands dwindled. Where did everybody go? King Terzo launched an inquiry, seeking answers. Inquiry? It became clear to him. People had lost interest in 2D worlds, and so... The king boldly declared... This is an age of 3D! Reform began and hope dawned on the kingdom as it upgraded to 3D. Oh yeah. But the king's plans were interrupted by disturbing news. The Dark Orb was stolen by Fuel, a Dark Bishop with an evil plan. <coughs> As monsters filled the fields again, people could only pray. For the emergence of a young hero like the One of Legend. And that'll be Wando's uh, 98 here. I'm excited. I'll tell you what, too. I mean, they just, just, I'm just going to decree that an extra dimension that we can interact in is going to exist. That's, that's brilliant. I like it. The Dark King is sealed, but not slain. Calamity may strike our kingdom again one day. I must leave this sword in the sacred forest, in case that comes to pass. Oh, hey, wait, I get to... Oh, I'm like this guy. Oh, wow! Whoa! I mean, I know it's not the size of your sword, but holy cow! Uh, dark forest, dark forest, which way? In the forest, north of the castle, the sword will be preserved. Thank you for thinking out loud. That, that was actually very helpful. Ah, okay, so R1 appears to be my shield button. And then X swings my sword. Apple. Apples are like hearts, I guess. Nice. This is actually really cool to be playing through this and actually being able to really just fluidly read the text and not have to constantly uh, 
um, you know, reference a dictionary or something, which is what I was doing before, which was fun ish, I guess. I mean, the gameplay's solid regardless of whether you understand the game. But there, there were points where I just didn't know where to go. Because I couldn't make sense of the dialogue. Not enough. Oh, I love that depth of field. Here we go. I'm on rails now. I know that one day, a brave soul will claim it and overcome all evil. And he will be an operating system. Long live Dotnia. Innkeeper. Wake up. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, it's the beginning of Chrono Trigger here. I'm gonna hear Lean's bell in a moment. Oh god, that's so ridiculous. Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? Eh? You had a strange dream? Yeah, I dreamt my, uh... Colonel was competent. It was terrifying. But don't worry, I crashed. Was it a dream about the hero who defeated the Dark King? Monsters have been so aggressive lately, I wouldn't doubt it. True heroes dream in 3D. That's how you can really tell. Excuse me. I understand there's someone named Wandu's98 is here. Uh, oh no. Have you committed a crime or something? I, I committed an illegal operation and I must shut down. Oh, so you're Wandu's98. Come with me. The king requests your presence at the castle. I don't want to give the king presents. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, this is just great. Thank you for coming, Wandu's 98. Our kingdom is in great peril once again. That is why I need your help, descendant of the legendary hero. The hero who saved our kingdom left his sword in the northern forest. I believe you are the one who can pull the sword from its stone if you are destined to save our kingdom. Problem is, no one has actually found the sword to this very day. But, as a descendant of he who shall not be named, I know you can do it. Will you venture forth, north rather, of the castle to obtain the legendary sword? Uh, no. <laughs> Why do I want to do that? Yeah, yeah, actually, I think if I do no, it, it, uh, it might end the game. Wandu's 98, you are indeed of the hero's brave bloodline. Thank you. It's so dangerous to be alone. Take this. Oh, Zelda last Zelda reference, right? I feel like this. Uh, they pay so much homage. All right, look at the side of my sword. Got a sword. Man, it's like a. Ooh, and I got a shield. Got a shield. It's gonna look ridiculous to me, it's like uh, like a shield in front of my screen here. I have faith that you are the hero of legend. Oh yeah! Ah, oh, look at that! There's my shield, and no! Oh! <laughs> All right, that's that's really great. So when I swing the sword, big X in front of my screen. Bam! You're dead. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the, well, the same button, actually. The swing your sword is the talk button, so I'm not doing anything wrong. I love it. <sighs> Alright, so what are we heading to the forest? I think that's, I think that's the implication, right? Man, all I'm seeing is like a whole lot of nothing. Still seeing a whole lot of nothing, actually. The heck? Are you serious? 
Uh, I feel like the game. Oh man, the game totally crashed. What? Are you serious? No way. Ah, <sighs> I can't even press the home button. All right, well, that sucks. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back to this. I'm hoping, yeah, here we go. Okay, so let me tell you what just happened. I started the game and I, I think I'm gonna be able to combine the first and second parts, but I st uh, tried to step outside the castle and just, just black. The whole system actually froze. So I went ahead and I remade my character. Um, this time I actually picked the arcade machine because I thought it'd be a little more fun. Uh, the idea being Wandu's 98 was okay, but instead I went ahead and I remained, uh, I went ahead and I renamed myself Arcadu, and I am an arcade machine, and I will be an awesome arcade machine. So, we're going to make stuff happen. Um, so, let's head up to those northern woods, if you recall. We actually, uh, we played as that other guy. He kind of looked like he was a bit from Dragon Warrior. And uh, we're going to go, and we're going to try and find the ancient sword. Because, of course, we have the hero's bloodline, and et cetera, et cetera. Probably skipping a few things, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to explore the castle. Because it looks like there's a whole lot to check out. I'd like to get a chance to get a feel for the game, kind of show you around a little bit. And uh, so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to basically repeat what we did a little bit ago. Though I am a little curious about what's in this cave. Let's check out this cave. Oh, it's like a fairy pond. Allow me to soothe thy weariness. Okay, cool. It's a place to heal for free. Or I'm presuming it's free. It certainly felt free. Now, I have to admit, I really like some of the lighting effects that they have in this game. In a strange way, the graphics in this game are some of the best I've ever seen. Even though they're kind of simplistic, they're they're just amazing. Like right, enemies explode into cubes; they go everywhere. Uh, the music, I, ha, slice and dice. We got our first trophy in this game. Cool. Well, I'm just glad it's actually playing and not uh not freezing. You found this sign. You're good, Sir Signe. I mean that that sign was pretty pretty, you know. It was in the open here. It's all right. Wait, do we look at this one? Ah, oh, come on. North Sacred Forest, West Rayjack Village. All right, let's check it out. Boom. I feel like I'm just a, a, <laughs> a little agitated that my last character, uh, you know, imploded a little bit. I had to restart it, and you know, rather than actually redo it and kind of lose some of that momentum. I'm just gonna go ahead and combine them together. At this point, it's already combined, and you're like, why do you keep talking about this? It's totally happened, and well, from my perspective, it hasn't happened yet. I just know it's gonna take a little bit of work to do. Which is not a big deal, right? Anything worth doing is, is gonna take time. Oh, oh, hey, they actually take more than one hit. I'm used to being like super-powered giant sword dude. Alright, so it's R1 to do the shield. Yeah, this doesn't seem familiar. Ha! I can put them on a sink. No, oh, come on. Oh, 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 look at that. I already got hit once. Hey, come on! Alright, the more I hit them, the more. Uh, the the diff the more different player, uh, there we go so on his last on his last hit he becomes a bit more erratic I need to time this better is what I need to do okay yep big jump man there we go kind of can't believe that took me as long as it did but that's all right ha huh. a formidable foe has fallen man this game just loves to give you trophies all right let's check the sword 
about to do a sword in the stone kind of deal. This is just like, um, you know, in uh, Link's, not Link's Awakening, but uh, Link to the Past. You go to the forest, you pull the sword. Uh, of course, that one's a master sword, although that kind of has that master sword look to it, too. There's an old sword stuck deep inside its stone base. Pull it out. Yeah. All right. Got the ancient sword. I'm excited. And a fairy. Wow! The true hero has finally emerged. Oh, my apologies. My name is Lee, and I've been waiting for you. Please, tell me your name, great hero. Ah, Arkadu? Such a fitting name for a hero. Huh, the legendary hero is your ancestor? No wonder that sword looks so right for you. Yeah, of course, you know. My ancestor was a toaster, and he actually wielded the sword and took care of the dark evil. Upgraded a little bit, so. I'm an arcade machine. Funny how, like, genetics work, right? So, no wonder that sword looks so right for you. I just know you're the one who will save the world, Master Arkadu. But the road you walk is a dangerous one. That is why I wish to accompany you. I swear, I'll be Navi. Lee joined the party. Let us return to the king with the proof that you are a hero. I ain't got nothing to prove, whatever. Love that water. Really? Let me walk five steps and I get a trophy. I obtained the, the, the sword. Hooray. <coughs> I was actually just remarking how after I had played that last... Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that's, that's not very long. This is totally long. Oh. Oh. So if I don't get hit, it's gigantic. Why am I killing rabbits? Like, they probably... Oh, do they actually attack me? Yeah, they do. Oh, well then. All right. I don't feel so bad now. Uh, some of the uh, some of the game tracks I actually really dig because they've got this mix between Legend of Zelda type sounding music, but they actually mix like purposefully mix this sort of. Uh, you know, I, I, it's not retro wave. Um, I don't know why I said that. That's like kind of 80s. But they they actually go ahead and they mix this chip tune esque kind of sound with um, you know with, with orchestration. And I think it's actually really good. There's one track in particular, and it's actually luckily it's early on in the game too, so you should be able to hear it either this episode or the next uh, when we actually go kind of deeper into a uh, forest. So we're going to check it out. We're going to say hi to the king. Is there a save button? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save it because I don't want to, like, I don't want to lose anything due to a, a loading screen kind of mishap. That was, that was unfortunate. Wait, how big was that save? Oh, whatever. I'll check it out later. I'm probably going to have to delete some stuff. Did it say 307 kilobytes or megabytes? Megabytes would actually shock me a little bit, but, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be, like, impossibly strange just unlikely I thought that's what I actually literally read was megabytes well anyway I'm tired it's a little late so let's do this that is a sort of legend you are indeed the true hero now listen carefully onyx the dark king brought a dark age upon the kingdom but the hero with the aid of the six sages, sealed him inside a dark orb. And now, the Triforce of Power has been stolen, and the thief's name is Ganon. Deeming himself a dark bishop, he believes he can wield the Triforce. And with Onyx's power, he plans on taking over the entire light world. The only way to stop him is with the six maidens and the six orbs. I beseech you, Arkadu! Please find the six orbs and the six maidens to bring peace to the land. 
No. Yes. I'll do it. Ah, Hakaru. I knew you would shoulder this burden. Thank you. The spirit of your heroic ancestor must be beaming with pride. Six orbs are located at the six aging temples throughout the kingdom. First, head to the grass temple in the west. You can do it, Akaru. The west, huh? Northwest, southwest, through the forest of maize? I'll never remember that. Actually, interestingly, that, that's how I learned my, my east and west was from the Forest of Maze in the original NES um, Legend of Zelda game. Which is phenomenal, by the way. Um, that that almost, in a way, deserves its own kind of remake. Alright, let's. Uh, we're heading west, right? Let's go ahead and let's cut down some grass. Have a part-time job basically pulling weeds. That's fine. We can totally do this thing. Boop, boop, boop. Ha ha. Okay. I see, I see like the village, but I mean, I don't really feel like I need to go to the village yet. Oh man, really? No! I, I wanna, there we go. I always find it funny though. I was thinking about this earlier, and I realized that games, like, punish you for actually taking more damage. Which, it, it kind of makes sense, right? But at the same time, I don't know that it completely does. So, what do I mean by that? Well, I, oh, oh, no, no, we don't hit chickens. We don't hit chickens. This is not... Is, it's something that almost never works out, actually. I've had some bad experience with chickens. And probably you may have as well. Alright, this is clearly not the way to go. Alright, so we're gonna go down. So for those who don't know, um, and I'd find it strange maybe if a lot of you didn't, but in the Legend of Zelda games, going as far back uh, that I can remember as um, the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. If you whacked the chickens enough, they were one of the most dangerous destructive forces you could ever mess with. I mean, we're talking about deadly and lethal, right? So well, it didn't just become one chicken, no. He said, hey, I'm getting attacked. I want all my friends to come here and help me out. And we got a Lego piece. All right. Um, and so really, you just get killed by a swarm of chickens. You could survive within reason at times. Although I'm not sure about the later game. Hey, what was that? I'm not sure what that was. It's all right. Oh, oh okay. I can't think of what those uh, what those are. I know those uh, those bouncing things. They, they remind me of the enemies in the original Legend of Zelda. But the only enemy I remember, actually, I guess, has to be the Octo Rock. And I think part of the reason why I remember that is, uh, of course, you know, there were two uh, the two Legend of Zelda games that were on the. Um, it wasn't a Magna Box. What was it? It was the Wanda Gamelon, and it was something else. I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank on the game system, too. It was like the Philips IMAX. The Philips something. Anyway, um, I'm not going to remember right now. It doesn't matter. One of my favorite lines, though, because it actually had these horrid kind of drawn uh, cutscenes, animated cutscenes. And at one point, Link says, I'm so hungry, I can eat an Octorock. And it's... It really is one of my favorite things to just watch. It, it makes me laugh like an idiot. And and I already do that enough on my own, so when I talk about it, it being like a difference, that was a pretty big difference. So let's go ahead and save, because, I, again, I don't trust this kind of transition to black anymore. I had a bad experience, and I'm not sure that it's going to work out okay. Actually, you know what? Since I'm going to append this to part one, 
This is also going to be part one, so it's probably a lot longer than I realized, and in order to take the time and encode it and get it looking good, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop episode one, but we'll be picking it up for episode two in just a moment. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love new subscribers. That would be fantastic. Um, and feel free to comment, actually. I want, I want people to interact on my channel. I want suggestions. I want you to tell me what I did right or what I did wrong or or just anything. Give me some feedback or just put the word chicken on the replies. In fact, that's what you're going to do. You listen to this, you watch this, you know what you're going to do? You're going to comment with the word chicken. Okay? So I'll know who's actually listening. I'll know who's paying attention. Chicken. You want to say chicken. All right. Thanks again. Like the video if you want. Subscribe if you want. And I look forward to seeing you at episode two of 3D Dot Heroes Let's Play. Except the other way around. Let's play 3D Dot Game Heroes. Alrighty.